So now in this episode, I want us to add the dark and the light mode themes in our application. And with shard CN, uh, it will be very easy to do this, okay? So all we need to do is to go to shard CN. So you can always keep this um, page open because we will be working with several components from this particular uh, library. So right here, we just need to search for dark mode. And once you do that, you can click on next JS right here and you'll see we already have a guide on how to add dark mode in our application. So the first step is to install our next themes. So I'll copy that with npm and then right here, I'll just paste it and hit enter. That will install next themes in our application. And then the next thing will be to create this particular uh, file. So components are theme provider.tsx file. So I'll go ahead and at the root right here, I'll add a new file and I'll add theme uh, provider.tsx. Okay, sorry, not at the root. This file is supposed to be inside the components. So I'll, uh, I'll drag and drop it inside components just like that. Now inside this um, beam provider, we just need to copy this and we paste everything right here. We go ahead and save that file and I can actually go ahead and close it now. Now the next step is to wrap our root layout with this theme provider component. So we just need to go to our uh, layout. So I'll go to app, then layout and right here, um, we need to bring in theme provider. So I'll copy theme provider import and can do it here. We wrap our entire content with this particular theme provider. So after this uh, body tag, I'll go ahead and I'll say uh, theme provider just like that. And this main tag, the entire of it will now be inside our theme provider. And we need to pass various props. We need to pass an attribute to be class. And also we can pass a default theme to be a system. And also we have this enable system and disable transition on change. So we pass these various props. So I'll copy that and then I'll paste them right here. These are the various props and I go ahead and save, okay? Now, one last thing that we need to do is to um, add a toggle. So if I scroll down here, you'll see we have add a mode toggle, okay, to change between the dark theme system and so on. So what we need to do is to create a component for this. So just inside our components again at the root of components i'll add a new file and i'll say theme.toggle or theme-toggle.tsx and i hit enter and then i'll come just at step four and click on code and copy everything that is there and i'll come right here and paste it here so uh, you'll notice that we have an issue with this drop down. So we will need to install uh, a UI drop down. It is not on the guide here. So let's come here and search for uh, drop down menu. Click on it. And from here, we will add our drop down menu from shard CN. So I'll copy the NPM and I'll pop the terminal control J and I'll paste that command here, hit enter. So once it's installed, I'll go ahead and save this file. You can see the error is gone now. So this is our theme toggle. It will look um, like the one that we have here. So when we click here, we say light, it will be like that, dark, it will be like that. And uh, now what we need to do is to go to our nav bar and we want to hook it up just right here. Okay, so what I'll do, um, this is where we had theme. Now, instead of this theme, I'll say that this should be a theme toggle. Okay, what's the name of this component? We didn't change the name. 
okay it's saying mode toggle we can just say mode toggle mode toggle which will come from theme toggle so you can make the name of the file and the name of the component to be the same but it won't have any issue if we leave it like that now i go ahead and save and now look we have this particular uh, theme toggle right here and you can see already it changed to dark mode because we set the default to be system so whenever it refreshed it already changed to this dark mode and now when i click on here and say light it changes to the light mode and system it changes to dark mode again uh, but now i want it to be like this i don't want it to be like a button um, so we need to do some changes so what we'll do so back to our theme toggle right here we will come to this button that triggers uh, the theme toggle and you can change this to a link or ghost so the variant for the button and i go ahead and uh, save that if i come back uh, right here you'll see now it is not behaving like a button but it's just an icon uh, which is really cool so another thing that i want to do is to make this icon to be a little big so i'll come back to theme toggle here and i'll remove the height and the width and we'll go with the default ones so i remove those and i save and now these will be a little bit bigger Now, the next step that we can do is to add our nav menu. So right here, when we are logged in, we should be seeing this nav menu. And as you can see, its style is just as similar as our beam toggle. So uh, we will do a similar thing with this uh, drop down, and we'll be changing some stuff only. Uh, so the first thing that I'll do is that I'll copy this content for the beam toggle here. So control A, control C then i'll open my side nav here and inside components here and i'll add a new file at layout and i'll say nav menu dot tsx i hit enter and i'll go ahead and uh, paste the content right here okay now from here we just want it to look like this so uh, the trigger button uh, will not be a moon but all a sun it will be this particular icon right here so at the button here drop down trigger we remove these icons and i'll add chevron up down so chevron um, up down why is it not being suggested from lucid react just like that okay we name we change the name of our component to be nav menu just like that um i will remove these imports which we are not actually using so i will remove those and we remain with this chevron up down we don't need use them so we remove this use them and we remove it from here just like that now we need to change the on click event of these various uh, stuff and also uh, the yeah content right here so this one will be add hotel and we will add an icon a plus icon just at the beginning here so i'll say right here we need to have a plus icon from lucid react let it be just self closing like that so we remove this one and right here we set a size uh, I'll set it to be 15 and then we'll have this add hotel I can add it inside a span so I'll say span and right here we'll have add hotel okay now another thing is that we'll not be having this set theme but we'll rather have a router dot push so let's set up our router right here we'll say const router will be equal to use router and we make this and we make sure that it's coming from next navigation then down here instead of set theme we will say 
router dot push and we invoke that we say that this will go to um, stroke hotel then stroke new okay i can just copy this router dot push and here instead of dark we will be having my hotels then here we'll say router dot push and we will push to a uh, stroke my hotels so we'll be creating these routes uh, as we proceed now we also need a nice icon right here and we'll say uh, hotel from lucid react just like that and we'll set a size of 15 just like we did with the above one so that they are consistent and then we are at this one and we'll set this one to be my bookings we can set it inside a span i keep forgetting that so my bookings router dot push to my bookings okay just like that then here we also set an icon and we have this icon called book open check we set it to have a size of 15 and i save so now uh, let's see what we currently have uh, we just need to go to navbar and actually inside this div is where i will include this particular icon so right here after maybe mod toggle we'll say uh, nav menu we bring it in from nav menu and uh, i save to auto format if we come back right here uh, something should show and there we go it actually shows and if i click on it we have all these add hotel my hotels my bookings so we don't have nice spacing between them so we will go back to nav menu right here and we will actually add some styles so right here at our drop down we can have a class name and we will say let casa be pointer then let's flex let's have a gap of two and let items to be at the center and i'll actually go ahead and copy that one and i'll paste it to this one and also i'll paste it to this one uh, i save and now if i come back right here we click look we have some nice spacing between them and we now we uh, also have this casa as a pointer and a nice hover effect just like this one so i'm happy with that and look our style is starting to come along just like this one and that is really cool so the next thing that we will do is to work on adding a hotel so we will work on adding a hotel uh, that is the form and then we will work on prisma and we actually get to create the hotel in our database so uh, i'll see you in the next one